Our doctors and nurses still really feeling the strain from the weight of this pandemic, and so are the hospice caregivers out there. KMAX Laura Lawhead's here tonight with more on how those good folks have managed to keep it going despite all this. Brian, caregivers tell me hospice has undergone significant changes to stay ahead of the virus, and it's been especially tough on the caregivers, but even tougher on the ones they're caring for in the last few days of their life. Hospice does is we sit and we hold people's hands. It's not just a matter of going in and checking on them and be gone. You know, it's a very emotional visit each visit. The business of helping people say goodbye based on touching folks physically and emotionally in their final days. But it hasn't been the same due to pandemic safety regulations. And for some, it's been devastating. I think we've had people die of a broken heart um, in hospice because of that lack of touch with their family members. Nursing home restrictions have limited caregivers from seeing patients like normal. And when they can see them, many times it's from six feet apart, decked out in PPE. Now they're offering telehealth visits and Zoom prayers with chaplains, but some things just aren't the same over a screen. Physical touch, it is the physical interaction with our patients. Um, obviously our, our CNAs can't give a bath virtually. And when you take that consistency out of the picture, it, it, it's been a detriment to some of our patients. Though caregivers have gotten creative. We've done a lot of window visits. We've done a lot of between the sliding glass and, and porch visits. Anything to make sure that no one has to spend their final days alone. Everyone has the right to die with dignity. I mean, that's why we're here. That's the biggest part of it also is that no one dies alone. They added that they're also trying out music therapy over Zoom. And just because someone has COVID-19 doesn't mean they can't care for them too in their final days. And for more information on those end of life services, you can head to the Hospice of Lubbock or the Legacy of Love Hospice websites.